Matt Vanacoro here with my friends at Gig Performer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Gig Performer 4 feature favorites so that you never have to recreate common block combinations that you might use in your rack spaces. On this channel, you'll find other tutorials on how to use Gig Performer, and we'll also take you inside the rack spaces of professional musicians using Gig Performer to help them own the stage. You'll also find instructions on how to recreate iconic sounds inside of Gig Performer. If any of these things interest you, make sure you click on that like and subscribe button. Let's dive into favorites. So why use a favorite? Well, let's say you've got a common sound that you use a lot. Your favorite piano with your favorite preset set to your favorite reverb, all that kind of stuff. You don't want to have to set that up every time if you use the same piano in a lot of different gig files. So you might want to save it as a favorite. But it doesn't stop there. That's the smallest level. At the larger level, you can combine instruments. If you want to combine piano and strings with a mix and a complex routing and effects, or if you're a guitarist, you have your favorite amp simulation, your favorite external effect, you can save all of that as a favorite if it's something that you use a lot and you don't want to have to recreate every single time you create a new gig file. So if you look at this wiring diagram now, I've got a MIDI input along with two instruments, two virtual instruments. I've got the MIDI input going to piano tech, so for my basic piano sound, and I've also got it going to contact for a bit of a string sound. I'm using Session Strings Pro 2 right there. All right, now let's say that that's my piano string sound that I'm going to use all the time. So there's no reason why I'd want to recreate it every time. I can save it as a favorite. So I just draw my selection box around those, and I right click, and I'm going to choose Save as Favorite, the selected blocks. Okay, so from there, I've got a little save dialog box and it's going to save it in the documents folder if you take a look right there. Okay, so in my documents folder, by default, it's going to be going to gig performer and favorites right there. So I'm going to go ahead and call it piano and strings basic. It's pretty basic. I didn't really do much to it. I just have a piano layer and a string layer and that's it. So I'll save it. But let's say that that's what I always want to use when I'm doing piano and strings. So I go to this blank rack space or even a completely new gig file. And I right click and if you go down under user now, you'll see I've got a menu that pops up that says favorites. And I've got my piano and strings basic that shows up there. So if I click on that, you'll see out comes piano and strings. There they are. It's all set up exactly as I had it. And there it is. So every time I want to call up a piano and string sound now, I don't have to open that up and you know recreate it as well every single time. Now if I was going to do it in a global rack space, if I was going to use that same piano and string sound a lot of different times in this gig file, I might want to put it in the global rack space. We've got a video on that as well that you can definitely check out. Now it works with audio too. Let me grab a guitar. All right, so I've got a guitar and I've got my little amp setup going on here. So I've got channel 17 feeding into a nice little Marshall amp simulation and I've got it going to both a reverb and a flanger doubler which this is great so I don't have to be you know shackled into using just the plugins that are in my favorite guitar simulation plugin that's one of the great things about favorites is that I don't have to be worried about creating complex routings because I won't have to do it every time I can go ahead and set up an amp simulation with my favorite reverb that's not in the amp simulator, my favorite flanger that's totally not in the amp simulator, route them back together in an audio mixer, and I'm good to go. So I've got this nice little guitar set up. I can quickly select it, and I'll just save as a favorite, and we'll just call it my favorite guitar. So flanged guitar. And I won't have to recreate this every time. As long as it's saved in that documents folder inside the Gig Performer Favorites menu there. Anytime I want to use it in a blank file or a blank rack space, I simply right click, I go to Favorites, I call it up, and that's it. It's even connected to the right audio input. And then I can make my adjustments so I don't have to leave it that way. If I decide, hey, you know what, on this particular patch, I want the flanged guitar, but I want the flanger down a little bit. I want the reverb channel up a little bit. So again, you can do these complicated setups. 
make little tweaks. If you know you're going to have that pedal board set up and you're going to want to tweak it each time a little bit, you can still save it as a favorite and go ahead and make those tweaked adjustments. So this feature is going to save you a lot of time when you're working on new gig files. And for those of you who are guitar players or singers, it's definitely worth checking out this video by Igor Paspalj on how he uses Gig Performer to get great guitar sounds. And if you haven't tried Gig Performer yet, you can download a 14-day free trial from the link below. Thank you so much for watching.